ever since starting, has fish farming been profitable? Or is it profitable to do fish farming? Yes. Yes. It's both both profitable and suicidal. <laughs> suicidal. Yeah. Well, how suicidal? Uh, imagine losing all your fishes in one day. With all your investment, they feed. Everything. You feed them for five, six months and then pff, all of them die. Start. So then, how come you've got your own place now that you have a partner that you do your... Uh, okay, so how did that true, one come about? true be told, uh, the side belongs to my partner. Okay, like uh, this new one? Yeah, this new one. Okay. Mr. Sam. Okay. Yeah. So we'll speak to Mr. Sam after um, yeah. that with it, so you get to know okay. The side belongs to him. Okay. But I'm partnering with him so that we can develop uh, the place and then uh, we can achieve... Uh, uh, Together. Together, yeah. Okay, okay. So he's also someone who is also passionate about fish Very farming. passionate. He's been to the business like 15 years now. Oh, wow. Yeah. Okay. And then he's been my mentor and a role model. That's nice. That's nice. We'll get to speak to Mr. Sam. Then. Okay. So I'm here with Mr. Sam. Um, I spoke to Sylvia and he said um, you are into partnership into the, like this business. And um, he spoke uh, highly of you. So I wanted to speak to you so I get my viewers to also get to know more about you. So please, can you like introduce yourself to my viewers? Yeah, my name is Aisam. 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 Okay. Yeah. Uh, I've been here for the past twelve years. Wow, like in this area. Here yeah, on this farm. Okay. Uh, I started with uh, tilapia. Tilapia farm. Yeah. yeah. But uh, one way or the other, but somewhere along the line, there was a problem, a little problem, you know, so... With regards to the business? Yes. Okay. So we had to fold up a little and then restart. Nice. But then uh, restarted is not easy. So we started with catfish. How long has it been since um, we started with catfish? Wow, so like Wager Farms like six years old. What do you mean? Wager Farms is 10 years. 10 years? Interesting. Wager okay. Farms is 10 years. Okay. Okay. Here in Abdul. Nice, nice, yeah, nice. I started before. Okay. Before that. Before that. It was uh, on a small scale. Mm. It was on a small scale at home. Okay. Uh, my family lived in Winneba. Nice, nice, nice. So, like, you are, you are like born and bred in Ghana, you are Ghanaian? I'm half Ghanaian, half Lebanese. Okay. But born in Ghana. But yes. born in Ghana. Yeah. And you've been in this business like the whole period? or? No, 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 no. I come from a jewelry and a hotelier family. Okay. But then I chose my course. I used to be. Uh, a telco subcontractor. Okay. I built cell sites. Sure. Yeah, but with my age, I can't, you can't keep yeah, climbing yeah, climb towers to go and check, inspect. So I decided to slow down on that and then go into something I can do easily. Nice. Uh, with my age. <laughs> and uh, even though fish farming, it's not an easy job. It won't, it won't create any ladder for me to climb. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. I so, get you, I get you. But how did the whole idea of fish farming start? Is it that you knew someone who was into it? Or how did you get into the fish farm? We began with the tilapia. They will ask you what you are, a Christian or a Muslim. For me? No, I mean, one will ask. Okay, are you a sure. Christian or a Muslim? I would say I'm a naturalist. Yeah, naturalist. Okay. Right? And I love nature. Nice. So I came into fish farming out of passion. Okay. 
Yeah. When you started, did you know anything about it when you began? No, I didn't know anything about fish farming. So I learned. I went to school. Oh, wow. Well. You know, I had a couple of trainings. Uh, to learn about ev everything about fish farming. And it's a, it's a venture that you never get to know everything. You always learn. You learn as long as you go. Yeah. Like today, for instance, when you got in there, I don't know if you saw me rushing with the cloth. Yeah, Let's for say. the breeding process. Yes. Yeah. To cover the eye, and I said. Yeah, yeah, yes. yeah. I'll show you guys the the breeding of the fishes. Yeah. With my expert. Didn't know. Yeah. Or wasn't used to. Yeah. Right. So I'm sure today he learned. Something. He learned something from that. Likewise, he also teaches me a lot of things that I don't know. Yeah. That's how. That's how it is. You know, you never get to know everything about fish farming exactly. or about the fish itself. Mm. You see, yeah. it's it's a it's always a learning process. Yeah, it's always a learning process. He might come out now and tell me about something that I never even thought about. Yeah. So that's 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 it. Okay, so I would say ever since starting, has fish farming been profitable? Or is it profitable to do fish farming? Yes, yes, it's both, both profitable and suicidal. <laughs> suicidal, well, how suicidal? Uh, imagine losing all your fishes in one day. With all your investment, they feed. Everything. You feed them for five, six months and then pff, all of them die, start dying. You produce fingerlings of a hundred thousand, and they start dying by the thousands. Wow! Uh, you look for around find some rope, find some cool <laughs> You hang yourself. You understand? <laughs> yeah, it happens most often. Yeah, I know. It happens. I think with business, every business there is ups and downs. Yes, but up this up. one, the risk is too much. You need to be to have a lion heart to be able to do to that. Stay in it. Okay. So it all boils down to, like Xavier was saying, uh, you have to make more research about it. about it. You have to have the passion, um, the marketing. You don't just wake up and go into fish farming because they said there's money in it. Yeah. There could be money in it and there could be hell in it. I like that. I like that. And most people just into fish farming and uh, like you were saying you know many fishes are stuck in ponds, ponds yeah no one is you buying know. them yeah uh, here's what you want you want big fishes they are there what do you do with them yeah. did you think about that before going into it you think about what you do with the fishes when they grow no you only know there's money in it where is the money coming from the money is going to come from you marketing yeah if you don't market you don't have the market, then where's the money? Unless you keep it for your family, you chop every week, yeah, you lose some, and then egg, you eat. Exactly. Yeah. Exactly. Exactly. So, if there is any, there's one advice we give all beginners who want to start their own catfish farm. Someone is watching this video, maybe he's very inspired to start something similar. What would that be? You should always be diligent in uh, what you are going into. Okay. You have to be very careful, do more research. They watch on YouTube, some two or three guys injecting a fish, and then they can't play tea. And here yeah, this money, they are, can sell one for 50 pesos or one CD and play them on you. Yeah. You see, but it doesn't work. It doesn't work that way. It doesn't work that way. I paid to learn. Yeah. It cost me to learn, but most people don't want to pay to learn. Yeah. Uh, it's not necessarily paying me to teach you. It's to buy more data, to make more research by yourself. Yeah, and it's now information is 
more information exactly. online. But no, he saw one. Oh, wait a minute, me here. <laughs> and I go and buy a syringe and then he, start to do it. It doesn't work. It doesn't that work down. Okay, work. okay. So, um, as time goes on, like, what's the plan for Wager Farms? What's the vision for Wager Farms? The vision is to become one of the top fish farms in Ghana. And, uh, We intend to process, you know, add value to our fish by, you know, by processing it okay. into a lot of things. Because I know, I know those who um, do their cats fishing, they do their own grilling. They make a lot of money from that. Exactly. They make a lot of money. You see, but we are too what we, yeah. right? Grill, sell, smoke. That's not the end of catfish. You can go beyond that. You can go beyond that. You can go into uh, fish balls, fillets, you know, you can go into dog feed, a lot of things. But our mind is always smoking, grilling, and fresh pepper soup. <laughs> Yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. Our aim is to go beyond that. Go beyond that. Okay. To produce our own feed to the standard we want. Not for sale, okay. but for our fishes. Okay. We add value to the table size. Okay, okay. So um, we'll, I think we'll have a look at the farm and look at what you do um, generally here at the Woja Farms. But we thank you here for speaking with us. You're always welcome. Okay, You're thank you very much. much. Welcome to Tundalani Raw Farms Limited, the home of farming and processing of farm produce into high quality food product. We produce food with 100% care. We have 1,200 acres of land available for you. These are land that do not have any known government acquisition or any family conflict surrounding them. We would give you your contract of sale once you purchase the land. You also have the land survey documents and the land allocation. Then we have the certificate of occupancy document, which is popularly called the CFO. While the paperwork process is going on, you can begin cultivation on your land. We look forward to hearing from you. We look forward to serving you. Thank you.